What is the most abundant microorganism on Earth? A. Fungi B. Algae C. Bacteria D. Viruses Answer C. Bacteria Bacteria are found in a wide variety of environments, including soil, water, air, and the bodies of other organisms. Their immense numbers and diverse metabolic capabilities contribute to their widespread presence and importance in ecosystems. Which kingdom do bacteria belong to? A. Animalia B. Planty C. Monera D. Fungi Answer C. Monera What is the name of the category of bacteria that are spherical in shape? A. Bacillus B. Spirillum C. Vibrium D. Caucus Answer D. Caucus What is the name of the category of bacteria that are rod-shaped? A. Caucus B. Spirillum C. Vibrium D. Bacillus Answer D. Bacillus in which extreme habitats can bacteria be found? Rainforests B. Arctic tundra C. Coral reefs D. Volcanoes Answer B. Arctic tundra Which category of bacteria is comma-shaped? Spirillum B. Vibrium C. Bacillus D. Caucus Answer B. Vibrium. What is the name of the category of bacteria that are spiral shaped? A. Bacillus. B. Caucus. C. Spirillum. D. Vibrium. Answer C. Spirillum. Can bacteria live in or on other organisms as parasites? A. Yes. B. No. Answer A. Yes. Despite their simple structure, what is one characteristic that makes bacteria complex? A. Their metabolic diversity. B. Their size. C. Their reproductive rate. D. Their ability to migrate long distances. Answer. A. Their metabolic diversity. What is the term used for bacteria that synthesize their own food from inorganic substrates? A. Heterotrophic. B. Carnivorous C. Autotrophic D. Herbivorous Answer. C. Autotrophic What are the two types of autotrophic bacteria? A. Anaerobic and aerobic B. Photosynthetic and chemosynthetic C. Gram-positive and gram-negative D. Pathogenic and non-pathogenic Answer. B. Photosynthetic and chemosynthetic Photosynthetic bacteria use light energy to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen, similar to plants. Chemosynthetic bacteria, on the other hand, obtain energy by converting inorganic compounds into organic molecules, often in the absence of light. What is the term used for bacteria that depend on other organisms or dead organic matter for food? Autotrophs B. Heterotrophs C. Parasites D. Pathogens Answer. B. Heterotrophs What is the term used for bacteria that depend on other organisms or dead organic matter for food? Autotrophs B. Heterotrophs C. Parasites D. Pathogens Answer. B. Heterotrophs which type of bacteria are the vast majority of all bacteria? A. Autotrophs B. Heterotrophs C. Photosynthetic D. Pathogenic Answer. B. Heterotrophs Heterotrophic bacteria obtain their energy by consuming organic matter from other organisms. They play crucial roles in various ecosystems by decomposing dead organic material and recycling nutrients, making them essential for nutrient cycling and energy flow. 
What do chemosynthetic autotrophic bacteria use to synthesize their food? It's light. B. Organic matter. C. Inorganic substrates. D. Oxygen. Answer. C. Inorganic substrates. Chemosynthetic bacteria derive their energy by oxidizing inorganic compounds, such as hydrogen sulfide or ammonia, and using the released energy to synthesize their own organic molecules. Unlike photosynthetic autotrophs, which use light energy, chemosynthetic autotrophs rely on the chemical energy stored in inorganic compounds for their food synthesis. What is the term used for organisms that feed on dead organic matter? A. Herbivores B. Carnivores C. Detritivores D. Parasites Answer. C. Detritivores 17. Can autotrophic bacteria be both photosynthetic and chemosynthetic? It's yes. B. No. Answer. It's yes. Autotrophic bacteria can indeed be both photosynthetic and chemosynthetic. Some autotrophic bacteria are capable of using light energy to perform photosynthesis, while others use the energy derived from chemical reactions with inorganic compounds to perform chemosynthesis. These bacteria have evolved different metabolic pathways to capture and convert energy into organic molecules, allowing them to thrive in diverse environments. Example, purple sulfur bacteria, Chromatiaceae. Purple sulfur bacteria are a group of autotrophic bacteria that can exhibit both photosynthetic and chemosynthetic modes of nutrition. These bacteria belong to the phylum proteobacteria and are commonly found in aquatic environments such as sulfur-rich ponds and sediments.